Saki mwemwe na kwa le mchele kwa kukuku mwaga Saku na wapenda ya tusema ni tasikia Hello United Scholars and United Club members Before I introduce myself, I would like to say thank you For allowing me, giving me opportunity to address you today I feel honored to have this privilege to stand in front of you and say some few words But before I introduce myself, who I am where I am and what I do, I would like to start with a few words from this book. Uh, this book is a book of belief, a book of dreams. Someone in your position has dreamed bigger and reached their goals or their dreams, their childhood dreams. So I would like to play the audio book of this one, of this book. I will tell you who wrote the book. And why is it very important at this point to you? Let's go. The decision year, 1994 to 1995. Three important things happened between 1994 and 1995 in Kigoma, my hometown. They all made sense to me back then when I was just in fifth grade. I was a 13 year old boy, ambitious, determined, dedicated, and a true believer that everything is possible. Fast forward 23 years later, everything I dreamed of and planned at that moment connected today. This is the point when I agree with Steve Jobs that you can't connect the dots looking forward. You can only connect them looking backwards. So you have to trust that the dots will somehow connect in the future. You have to trust in something, your gut, destiny, life, Where karma, whatever. This approach has never let me down and it has made all the difference in my life. So, what are the important things in this particular short clip? It happened 1994, 1995 in a small town of Kigoma. I believe you know all Kigoma. We call Mwisho You know that. 1994, 1995 that person was in a fifth grade. There was no internet back then. Like now you can chat with someone in WhatsApp, chat with someone in any other social media. You can have TV, internet, and everything. There are no those options back in 1994, 1995. But a fifth grader had a dream, belief of something. What are those things? If you read the full book, there will be those kind of things. One of those things is... At what, at what, no matter what, I will be able, that person say, I will be able to study degree, probably masters, into things related to human rights, or PC studies, law, that was number one. Goal number two, to be able to reach in America, start life, study there, make life, and help other people, and so many other dreams. 23 years later, everything that little kid, in fifth grade, dreamed of, was fortunate enough to reach all their dreams. So this book is about us, about our positions, where we have been. You had your own dream. How are you going to attain your dreams? So this book was written by someone called Ernest Bonfas Makurilo. And that person is not any other person. That person is me. And this is my story. I was born in Kigoma in 1981. I was in fifth grade at that time. I'm coming from a family of 13 children. I'm number 11. You know, if you have a lot of brothers and sisters, 13 children is not easy for any parent to raise, whether it's in America, whether it's in any country. I was fortunate to be given the opportunity to go to school. And all my dreams depended on education as you as scholars you as club members i know you have your own dreams and you have to protect your dreams you have to find a way to reach your dreams it is your responsibility to reach your dreams no one believed me when i said at fifth grade i'll go live in america marry in america study in america and do greater things in america no one believed in me. In 19, 
In 2008, when I was doing my master's bachelor degree in Tanzania at the University of Dar es Salaam, I studied in Kigoma for primary school, Kigoma Primal. I went to St. Joseph in Kigoma, Ujiji Seminary. Then I transferred to Sanko Secondary School in Mbeya. Then I was doing my high school at Mbeya, Day High School. Then I did my bachelor in political science from 2005 to 2008 at the University of Dar es Salaam. While I was doing my, my bachelor degree, the time I was doing my examination, final examination, I had the ticket to come to America to teach Swahili language at Marshall University in West Virginia. It is one among the most prestigious scholarship for British scholarship. So I came here because of my brain because of working hard in the academics and to be in a position to know the tricks on how to be better interviews researching information and all those things are related while i was here i continued to find the scholarships and i did my master's degree in pc studies and conflict resolution and i started life here in america currently i'm director for a non-profit organization called the unbound unbound is an organization which works in 19 countries uh, in Africa, Asia, and Latin America. In Africa, we work in Tanzania, Kenya, Uganda, Madagascar, and, uh, and Rwanda. And I'm director for all programs in Africa. Apart from that particular job, which is the one I get, uh, I survive, I, I live with, uh, I have used other opportunities to support other people. So I do some blogging or oh, YouTube, so if you go to the internet and find the EBM scholars, you'll find a lot of information about how to get scholarships, how you can be able to succeed, how to do the better interview, how to prepare yourself for the better future, how you can employ yourself because you can finish your bachelor degree and don't get a job. How are you using your education to be able to survive? But overall, how can you be able to use your dreams? But I also do write books uh, and my plan is to write a hundred books and I teach people, guide people on how they can also be able to write books. Uh, even if it's not about money, it's about how you can be able to help others. So I have written so far 11 books and I'm in the journey of writing uh, uh, more books. So the few books I'll, I'll be able to share down the road on how you can be able to get them. Uh, this is how you can be able to get scholarships. Uh, it is uh, Uthaminu Gaibuni, the Swahili book about scholarships. This is a true memoirs uh, of the scholarship guys. Also, how can you be able to get a scholarship? But this will be above your level, I know, but it's about PhD scholarships. So there are so many other books, but I want to give you the tip about there are so many resources Try to use social media on your own advantage. Yes, it's good to watch uh, music from Diamond, Harmonize, Ali Kiba. Yes, it's good to watch uh, some drama in Tanzania about oh, Tanasha and whatever. You have all those opportunities. But also take opportunity to use social media wisely. Take opportunity to follow people on Instagram who are adding value to your life. Take opportunity to go to YouTube, watch videos of people who can be able to give some value. Go to Google search and find good information beyond just these unnecessary dramas. Yes, you can watch Simba and Young and all other things just for a few times, but also find resources. Use these resources wisely. At the time I was looking for opportunity to come to America, there were no these opportunities. There was no even internet. It was very crazy time, but we have been able to survive. So, over the course of time, I'll be giving some few more videos on how I can guide it step by step on a few other things you can be able to do well and be able to succeed. But this was just my introduction to you. Who I am, as I said, my name is Ernest Bonifas Makurilo. I go by EBM Scholars. You can Google me. You can go on my YouTube. You can go any place. You can be able to find me. And I can be able to give some tips on how you can reach. You, I mean, you can even get greater things more than what you have been able to achieve because you have a proper mentorship, proper guidance on how you can be able to succeed. So thank you so much. And I trust you and I believe in you that you'll be the person to do greater things for Tanzania and the rest of the world. So thank you again. This is Ernest Bonifas Makurilo talking to you from my home office here in Missouri, United States of America. Goodbye, everyone.